QCRI, the Qatar Computing Research Institute, is part of Hamad bin Khalifa University. Funded by the Qatar Foundation, it is located in Qatar's capital city of Doha. In 2010, when QCRI was new, its director, Dr. Ahmed El Magomed, was charged with building a world-class research institution. Qatar is going through a transformation. Uh, it's well thought out a plan in areas of education and healthcare, building society. The cornerstone of this national vision plan is to transform society from being reliant only on carbon to become a knowledge-based economy. Dr. Ahmed and his team visited the world-renowned Massachusetts Institute of Technology to propose a collaboration between QCRI and the scientists at MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Lab, or CSAIL. In 2012, an agreement was signed between QCRI and CSAIL to launch their seven-year collaboration. In the areas that we are uh, interested in, uh, you know, the, the computing research areas, uh, CSAIL is the best. And we would even think about partnership with someone else if CSAIL was not an option. It's all about working together in partnership. This is the key to build an ecosystem where people could collaborate together. We are doing applied computing research with focus on local problems. We'd like to say that uh, we have a, uh, a local agenda with a global uh, reach. We have high hopes of our projects to materialize into um, end products and systems that will have a direct impact on, on the lives of the citizens here in Qatar. The collaboration is a good fit for CSAIL and its mission to invent the future of computing, to train young computer scientists, and to make the world a better place through computing. We partner with organizations and sponsors who have similar objectives to ours. QCRI was very interested in a few aspects of computation that were very critical uh, to how we were viewing our own impact in computing. That included big data and data analytics and database systems. It included language and speech technologies, and it included advancing uh, web technologies. So for this particular project, uh, CSAIL assembled a very distinguished team. Uh, we have about 35 PIs involved in one way or the other, principal investigators. And that represents uh, one third of our uh, faculty members and senior researchers. We have seven members of the National Academy of Engineering. We have five winners of uh, the ACM Fellowship. And uh, we have three people who uh, were uh, named uh, MacArthur Genius Fellows. And then we had two Turing Award winners. I was very excited to be working with an organization that was just starting, but the ambitions were huge. They really want to be the most important organization studying computing and pushing the boundaries in computing uh, in the Middle East. The choices that we make in our project selection are based on two things. Uh, first of all, that it has to be something that we have technical expertise in. And secondly, it has to do with something that is of uh, potential national interest. Projects are defined by two teams, one from QCRI here in HBKU and the other from CCL at MIT. They work together, they form their idea, they come up with the idea, they defend their idea, and then we give them the opportunity to work together. Our goal is to do excellent quality work that cannot be compromised. The eight project areas are speech and language processing for Arabic, resource efficient shared computing, data integration, understanding and identifying cultural identities across platforms, cross-cloud processing, content adaptive video retargeting, video magnification and video comparison for sports, and understanding health habits from social media pictures. At the midpoint of the partnership, the scientists at CSAIL and QCRI reflect on its impact so far. We have accomplished uh, a lot of new ideas, uh, new systems, and new prototypes 
that have been the basis for a lot of publications, over 70, that appeared in the premier journals and conferences in the respective areas. We have filed almost 80 patents. We have received almost 20 of those. We have licensed about 25 to 30 of these uh, new patents. We now have established five new accelerators and uh, we have two technologies that are beyond the accelerator stage and in the uh, development stage. They're being uh, uh, incubated right here at the Qatar Science and Technology Park in Education City. We've also done a joint startup with MIT. QCRI is becoming more and more attractive, an attractive research institute as a result of working with MIT. And this is helping us attract more like top people in their, in their fields. But the especially important part is for the junior people, that they get an opportunity to interact with and often be mentored by the senior people at CSAIL. And that really is something that we value a lot. Looking forward, the scientists at CSAIL and QCRI are optimistic about what will be accomplished during the partnership's second half. It's a seven-year relationship, so we really can think about long-term impact and be able to change the world in some way because we have steady support. And it allows both of us uh, to take a chance and think about fundamental issues because it's going to take a while for you to change the world. Our partnership with CSAIL is, is helping us and enabling us to play with and learn with the best. And that is also giving us the opportunity, the ability and the confidence to make contributions that can be world class and help around the world. I am so happy to see where we started from and where we are now and especially to see how QCRI has grown from a handful of researchers to an organization with hundreds of researchers who are really pushing the boundaries in computing and who are really internalizing the objective to make a difference and to be the best organization for computing research in the region. I think that is tremendous. This is our opportunity to transform society, to create great institutions right here. There is no reason why we could not have an institution at the level of MIT right here in this region. Uh, we're confident and, and with the support and, and God's help we will get there.